So the iOS 14 got released recently. And let me tell you, it's a massive update. Expect loads of new features. I am currently on iOS 13.7 and I'll update to the new iOS 14. The iOS 14 update size may vary in different devices. In my case, it's 2.75 GB. The iOS 14 update is compatible with iPhone 11, iPhone 11 Pro, iPhone 11 Pro Max, iPhone 10s, iPhone 10s Max, iPhone 10R, iPhone 10, iPhone 8, iPhone 8 Plus, iPhone 7, iPhone 7 Plus, iPhone 6s, iPhone 6s Plus, iPhone SE, first generation, iPhone SE, second generation, and the iPod Touch, seventh generation. So, finally I am on iOS 14. A complete fresh new look with the widgets and, it's highly customizable. You can edit each stack, remove them, randomize them or sequence them according to your wish. You can easily add new widgets by clicking on the plus icon. You can select any function, app or a new smart stack. Choose your widget style. Drag it to move anywhere you wish to. You can delete any widget. You can also drag a widget and place it over another, to pile them up together. How smart! Awesome! A brand new app library, which categorizes your apps automatically. This looks great! Click on an app to launch it, or click on the small icons to see all apps under that particular section. The animations given here is awesome. The smart search feature here makes it more convenient for us to look for an app. Notice that I have Chrome app here in app library, but it's not there in my home screen. It's technically hiding an app from home screen. Let me put Chrome back to home screen. Add to home screen. Long tap on any app. Tap on remove app and choose move to app library. It's so simple. Next big update is Siri. Previously Siri would occupy the entire screen, but now on iOS 14, it's changed completely. It is now compact and gives you a futuristic feel. Very nicely done. The new picture-in-picture -picture mode allows you to multitask while watching videos. Open Safari and watch a video in full screen mode, and then swipe up to get the picture-in-picture -picture mode. You can move it to any parts of the screen. It's a great feature indeed. Double tap to enlarge. Swipe to the side to hide it. Unfortunately, this mode is not available for the YouTube app. You get an inbuilt translator in the iOS 14, which is kinda cool and useful. Most awaited feature. You can receive calls in banner mode when you're using your iPhone. That was much needed. With the new home screen settings, now you can choose if you want the new apps that you download to be shown in app library only. Another cool feature in iOS 14 is, now you can pin individual senders and messages. Simply drag them to the top to pin them. To remove them, just drag the down. It's that simple. If you have a lot of apps, this is definitely for you. Now you can switch to any screen quickly with the new toggle-like feature. You can now set your sleep cycle by setting your sleep goals and your sleep timings. It will enable do not disturb mode automatically just before your bedtime, and disable it when it's wake up time. You can also set a different schedule for any day separately. Now you can limit the volume for your headphones to a certain level. Let me set it for 90 decibels. There are new features in camera as well. Now you can shoot pictures faster than before. You can change that in settings if you want to opt out. You can enable or disable the new full frame mode as well. Also, now we can change the video quality from here itself. No need to go to camera settings again. That is amazing. We can add captions to any photo by simply swiping up the photo slightly. This will help us categorize or find the image very easily. Great move by Apple. 
Now you get an additional option in the photos application to find out photos more easily. We get a small indicator on the top right side. Green means the camera is being used, while the orange color indicates that the microphone is in use. Cool? Please comment whether you like or do not like this feature. Now, we can choose whether we want to share our exact location, or only an approximate location with any app or service. So, a great step forward on privacy as well. Hope you liked the video. Do comment which feature seems best to you, and please share the video with your friends. A subscribe would be appreciated. Thanks, hope we meet again in my next video.